Hey folks, if you followed the news this week, you saw that our province has announced it's moving to the next phase of reopening and has given churches permission to open their buildings for Sunday worship services up to 30% of the seating capacity. Given the number of emails and phone calls this week, my guess is you'd like to hear what we're planning to do. First, please don't expect that we will open up on Sunday mornings very quickly. Along with the permission to reopen, our government has developed a lengthy list of regulations for the reopening. They are steep, as they should be, and we won't take them lightly just so we can be back together. Our board's priority is health and safety, and we require time to make wise decisions. So reopening may sound easy, but when you dig into it all, the requirements for constant sterilization, COVID screening at the door, zero out of town guests, uh, pre-registration and sign up, social distancing, and the safety of our kids, these things will seriously limit what we can offer. There's even special rules for serving communion and collecting offering. And things like kids ministry, nursery, coffee, and lobby visiting are not even options at this time. Well, we're reviewing and taking the government's laid out requirements for all of this very seriously. And we will reopen when our board feels we're ready. Well, right now, our church staff has been working on a step-by-step, -step, phased in approach to all of this. That plan will be presented to the board and discussed at the June board meeting. So please don't expect us to reopen until they come to a prayerful, wise decision. Pray for your church leaders as they do this critical work. So what about the meantime? Here's how we can begin to move ahead immediately. Let's take advantage of the opportunity to meet in groups of 10. Let's start a bunch of watch parties all over the area. Get your friends or your small group together to watch the online service in your home on Sunday mornings. These will still need to comply with all the government guidelines for size of group and social distancing and health and safety. Uh, but please take that seriously. So well, we've created some guidelines to help you begin right away and to keep these safe. Make these great celebrations. More than just sitting in a room with your friends watching an hour of TV. Be creative. Make them great. Again, our expectations and guidelines and suggestions are available for you. Go to the church website, look under sobblechurch.ca slash watch parties. Here's the second thing we can do right now. All of our groups that are under 10 people, our Bible studies and our small groups, our life groups, now you can begin to meet face to face. You still have to meet the same guidelines and everything and you can follow the same ones as our Sunday watch parties. But I know that some of our groups are entering their hiatus time for summer. That's too bad, now that the opportunity to meet as a group is just beginning to open up. Okay, I know that a delayed opportunity to attend church with your friends is disappointing for many. I really miss meeting face to face, but there's lots to be excited about. And while reopening our building in the near future remains unknown, we will continue to work towards an opening day and we will keep you updated as we learn more.